guys, so it's time for my review of The Horologicon. The book was written by Mark Forsyth and published by Icon Books. It was sent to me for review by the publisher via Sauna of Books and Quills. And as the cover says, it's a day's jaunt through the lost words of the English language. First of all, I have to say how much I love this cover. I love how shiny it is, and I also just really love this design. It's also on the cover page inside. Basically, the book is a gathering of a lot of strange words that you've probably never heard because they aren't used very often anymore. Some of them are really obscure and some actually sound pretty familiar. As you can tell by looking through the book, it's not simply a list or dictionary of words. The words are actually grouped by the time of day that they relate to. So it starts with waking up and ends with falling asleep. So you actually get the chance to hear the author's voice a lot, and it's written really well. It's very funny and witty and a little bit cheeky. It's definitely entertaining, and I laughed at several spots. Even if you're not a huge word nerd, I think you would still find this interesting. At the beginning of the book, it warns you that reading it from front cover to back cover is quite a feat and probably shouldn't be attempted. But since I wanted to do it for a review, that's exactly what I did. The nature of the book makes it so that it's best read at chunks of around 20 to 40 pages. And if you want, you can even read it according to what time of day it is. The only problems that I had with the book was that sometimes there's less information for certain words and a lot of information about other words. Some of the words he just uses in context and doesn't really define, but it only happens a few times. Overall, it was definitely really interesting and I'm glad I read it. I can totally see myself going back and using this book to look up the words that I learned. A few of my favorite words are expurgifactor, which is anything that wakes you up, Deepnophobia, which is a fear of dinner parties, anuptophobia, which is the morbid fear of remaining single, and pectination, which is when fingers are interlaced like this. Some other words you will encounter in this book include udkiara, hypnopompic, ruel, kolf, dufifi, quabbled, tatterdemalion, bumbershoot, herpling, mumbudget, nephilator, familicos, Catapepederastekenai, skewmorph, charrette, gruen transfer, withershins, pterididdle, calopsia, and paralipsis. But as for what those words mean, you'll have to check out the book. I ended up rating this 4 out of 5 stars because I really did enjoy it, but I did find it a little hard to read really big chunks. So if this book sounds at all interesting, I would definitely check it out if I were you. I will put links to the publisher site and to Books and Quills down below, and to a few other booktubers who have done reviews on the book. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.